So I'm gonna kind of use this uh, this opportunity to kind of tell you why I look like I'm bouncing off the walls all the time and kind of hard to find. Um, I teach uh, pretty much everything that's not in the shop uh, as far as on the ag department side, and uh, which includes a little bit of everything, a lot of uh, a lot of animal science and plant science and stuff, and uh, it all kind of starts with the principles of agriculture, food, and natural resources. Our our freshman class, and in this we kind of try to kind of give them a really just give them a place to start, and we uh, introduce them to the FFA organization, and uh, we teach them some parliamentary procedure skills, uh, some employability characteristics, because that's kind of what the whole organization is about is giving kids skills to get jobs in the future, whether it be in the ag department or I mean in the, uh, in the ag field or otherwise. And so we, uh, we get them started with that and uh, teach them about our, our leadership development events uh, that we do uh, here in the fall or our, uh, our career development events, which we do in spring. And we kind of get them, get them thinking about what they might want to participate in uh, as far as that goes. And, uh, and then we give them an intro just to, uh, to general animal science and kind of, you know, we'll talk about breeds of cattle and breeds of pigs and, and kind of see if that, if that piques their interest, if they really want to, uh, if they may want to pursue, you know, trying to take the vet med class, which is obviously pretty high level animal science, uh, since we actually, you know, walk through minor surgeries and stuff, and it, it just kind of gets their head going, uh, you know, maybe thinking that way. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll give them an intro to plant science, where we'll spend quite a bit of time in the greenhouse, uh, just to kind of, uh, again, just to kind of see if, it, if anything piques their interest any. Uh, and then we'll give them a, a kind of a short intro to ag mechanics. I, I try to stay out of that just because uh, I, I hate to tell them wrong right before they go have Tony and he tells them. I don't want them to point out how bad I am at it. So I, uh, I try to stay out of there as much as possible, but, but I'll give them a, a short short overview of it. And then uh, with the, the vet med class that I talked about, uh, we the goal is to eventually have it where kids get out with their CVA, their uh, Certified Veterinary Assistant license so that they can go work at the, at the vet clinic or vet clinics anywhere and they don't get hired just because they really need somebody. They get hired because they're the most qualified and they have the credentials to perform all the jobs and all the skills necessary correctly. And so uh, with that class, I, I kind of try to let what's going on in the pig barn dictate a lot of it because I want them to see it in real life because I can sit up there and talk about you know, sick pigs or whatever, which hopefully we don't talk about that often, but <laughs> but I can sit there and talk about it until I'm blue in the face, but it doesn't really, it doesn't register with them until they see it. They see, you know, the signs of sickness and they can kind of register, this is what's happening, this may be what it is, and I'll let them kind of troubleshoot that way. So I, I kind of try to let that dictate what we talk about, but obviously we talk about the, the veterinary tools um, and let them, you know, kind of get kind of get their eyes on as many of them as possible and their hands on them and, and kind of have an idea of what they do so that, you know, maybe at some point we can kind of go through the vet clinic and hopefully they're already smart enough to not go grabbing stuff, but definitely know, you know, what is, what's a high level piece of machinery that shouldn't be messed with, um, which I wouldn't worry about too much, but, you know, just in case. Uh, and we try to, I try to actually go over basic skills like injection techniques, how to give shots, and uh, you know the best places to give them what subcutaneous means and all stuff like that and uh, we teach them uh, some some suturing we'll uh, in the in the spring where we have chickens around for poultry judging we'll sew a couple of them up and see if if any of them can can do that and uh, it's fun uh, they they'll, they'll get a good kick out of that it's it's pretty fun um, then with the horticulture side and all the plant science classes uh, again, I, I kind of like to let what happens in the greenhouse dictate when we talk about stuff because I, I, I can explain everything all day, but nothing registers until they really you know, get their hands on it and they get to see plant disease instead of just me showing pictures of all these plants. It also has more effect if they know their plants that are here because you know, if you look at any PowerPoint or book in the world, it's going to have plants from everywhere. And so it, I feel like it gives, gives more real life relevance if it's plants that they know they're going to see because they're right in front of them. So I try to let that kind of, kind of be our, our guiding force with that. And uh, 
But with horticulture, we'll get into you know the basic plant processes and a little bit of biology on that side, which they just love leaving biology and coming to biology. <laughs> but uh, but uh, with the landscape design class and the range, we'll uh, we'll do a little plan ID so that you know maybe it'll come down come in handy down the road so they'll know what what poison ivy is or something like that. And we'll we'll talk about some plants that are you know especially local plants and. Uh, <clears throat> And we'll talk about how to design the landscape. Uh, we'll talk about like growing turf plots and you know just real basic skills. But kind of my whole thing is I obviously would love the kids to learn the content, and that's you know that's kind of the point. But my kind of the way I let's see how to word this. Uh, my goal is really to teach them, to prepare them for what comes next. So I have most of the younger, I have all the younger kids and I have a few seniors. So for the younger kids, it's another Ag Met class or it's a, another animal science class or another horticulture class. So I want to give them the skills to succeed in that as well. For the senior kids, maybe it's the workforce. So I want to help, I want to be out of the classroom as much as possible to instill in them a work ethic and kind of what it takes to survive you know whenever someone tells you to get something done how to do it do it efficiently and then, you know get out of the way and then for those that are going to college we do have our moments where we hit the books and I teach them how to take notes because I certainly did not know how to when I went to college and it I thought I was gonna die because I had absolutely no idea what I was doing so that's kind of kind of how I, I go about it, that's kind of my end game, is to just prepare them for whatever they're going to do next. And I offer a bunch of certifications uh, just to give them a leg up if they go directly into the workforce. So they have some, some, like some nationally recognized uh, uh, certifications, like for my floral design class, they'll do the uh, Ben School Floral Design, uh, which is just the most basic one you can get, and some florists don't even bother getting it, because pretty much if you can run a business, you can be a florist if you've got an eye for it. But it does help them out quite a bit if they want to get a job there and maybe see if that's for them. Uh, I'll do the Bayer Crop Science, Plant Science Certification with my Landscape Design and Horticulture classes. Uh, fundamentals of Animal Science uh, with Vet Med or Livestock Production. Uh, then there is a Veterinary uh, Medical Application by Elanco, uh, which does a bunch of the tools that vets use, so it's, it's pretty good. And then uh, the NCLCA uh, Principles of Livestock Selection and Evaluation Certification for my freshmen so that they can actually know what makes a good, a good pig or a good cow or whatever. So they have some skills, maybe help out around the house if, if they own any, any animals. So that's my, that's my stuff.